Hi, everybody. We've all seen the enormous interest in specialized silicon for AI, whether CPUs, GPUs, or IPUs, infrastructure processing units, as Intel likes to call them. To sort through this question I have with me today, Charlie Ashton of Napatech, which is just getting ready to release a production grade 200 gigabit per second IPU based on an Intel Xeon D SOC plus an Intel Agilent 7 FPGA. Uh, so Charlie, what is the problem that you're trying to solve? What is an IPU? What is a uh, a little bit about the underlying technology behind IPUs and where is all of this headed? Well, Jim, um, cloud and enterprise data centers are increasingly being required to host applications that are becoming more and more demanding in terms of compute capacity, security constraints, and just the high bandwidth that is required for both storage and networking. And they also have to support tenant applications that can be virtualized with VMs, or cloud native using containers or even bare metal. And, and the paradox here is that while these applications need increasing compute power, which is delivered by CPU cores on the data center servers, in a traditional system architecture, all the protocols required for the basic security, networking, and storage infrastructure also need to run on those same server CPUs. So data centers have to deploy a lot more compute resources that are actually required to run the applications that they're getting paid for. So what are these IPUs? How are they being implemented to solve this problem? Yeah, well, IPUs or infrastructure processing units really represent a new level of intelligent infrastructure acceleration, while also providing some really important security isolation features. And we can illustrate this with some nice graphics that Intel has kindly allowed us to reference. So. IPUs represent the latest stage in a sequence of infrastructure architectures that started with basic foundational network interface cards where the networking control plane and data plane ran on the host CPU, then progressed to smart NICs where the data plane is accelerated in hardware on the NIC, and now has moved to IPUs where both the control plane and the data plane are completely offloaded to a processor complex on the IPU. So this architecture not only frees up the host CPU for running applications, but also introduces a security layer into the system that provides complete isolation between the host applications and the networking and storage infrastructure. So basically, IPUs deliver higher performance networking and storage, while also improving system security and freeing up the host CPU to run the kind of applications that it was designed for in the first place. And there are some really important benefits here for virtualized multi-tenant deployments, where now each guest application can bring its own hypervisor, while the data center is still fully in control of the infrastructure and can sandbox functions like security, networking, and storage. What about the core technology on the IPU? How is this brought together? Well, Napatech's partnership with Intel around their new F2000X platform builds on our earlier collaboration around their C5000X platform, where we ported our link virtualization, virtualized data plane software to provide a high performance networking offload solution for two by 25 gig servers. Now, a collaboration on the two by 100 gig F 2000X platform is much broader. So Intel provided us with their system level reference design, which on the hardware side comprises their application development platform or ADP, which is a complete IPU design based around an Intel Xeon D SOC and an Agile X7 FPGA. Then they also provided us with their reference software for use in the workloads that we're launching as software stacks along with our hardware. Then on the Napatech side, we brought our long experience in developing and productizing SmartNIC solutions that are based on FPGAs, comprising not just the hardware uh, like this, but also software stacks that include our FPGA IP as well as the host drivers. Okay, interesting. So how do you commercialize it? What, what's next? 
Well, Napotec is the number one supplier of programmable smart NIC solutions, so we serve the fastest growing segment of the overall NIC market. Now, for our implementation of the F2000X platform, we used Intel's ADP as the starting point to develop a turnkey, production-grade, productized IPU that we call the F2070X. And then we have our three new software workloads. So the first one is storage offload, which is an optimized NVMe over TCP stack running on the IPU. The second is security offload, which implements TLS acceleration and TCP offload on the IPU. And then finally, we have a new version of our virtualized data plane, which runs on the IPU as a complete networking offload solution. And this includes OpenV switch, with both the control plane and the data plane running on the IPU and providing full support for bare metal environments. So basically, these new IPU solutions enable data centers to become more cost effective, more energy efficient, more secure, and also more sustainable through infrastructure that's upgradable in software. So that's what we're doing. All right, fantastic. Well, thanks for the update, Charlie, and thank you for joining us today. Yep. Thanks a lot, Jim. Appreciate it.